Welcome to another episode of the Valorant Tips and Tricks sent by you series. A series where I show Valorant Tips and Tricks that you guys sent to me. Like always, I'll be giving away a battle pass to a random submission. So if you know any cool tricks, feel free to send your tricks in the Lowlander Discord server. Maybe you'll be the next winner. And now let's start the video. Of course, we gotta start this video with Deadlock, right? She's the newest agent. So here's a cool mechanic. You can use your Q ability underneath things and it will detect enemies standing above it. For example, if you place it on this wall, it will activate when enemies are walking in heaven. He's got a lot on his plate right now. So. It's a very useful trick because for the enemies it's very hard to destroy the ability this way when you are using the deadlock ultimate you will bounce back a little bit it's a bit similar to the sofa ultimate but with this mechanic you can do something cool and that's when you aim down and jump while using your ulti you'll jump a little higher and can get onto boxes like this one on bind however keep in mind i think your ultimate is a bit better if you aim on the enemies than aim on the ground but now you know this mechanic exists about cool mechanics there's this mechanic about the bind teleporter that i never knew existed but it can actually be pretty useful and help you get a lot of kills i'll talk about it in a sec but first let's talk about skins you have a lot of different type of skins in valorant like green screen skins or skins with animations but they have all one thing in common and that's that they are pretty expensive but that's where the sponsor of this video might be able to help you you might already heard about them but it's buff.game this is how the app works it's pretty simple you just download the app with the link in the description and then let it run on the background while playing your favorite games when you do this you will earn buff points and with those points you can buy cool things like amazon gift cards steam gift cards and of course valorant gift cards it's very simple right that's why i like buff and this app has more features you can also record your highlights for example upload them on the app and share it with all your friends some games above supports are valorant league of legends counter strike and even fall guys if some people are still playing that it's built on the trusted overwolf platform so it's safe to use and already 12 million people downloaded this app before you so what i would say just try it out with the link in the description it's completely free of course and when you download the app this month you will get 100 extra buff points and if you got any more questions i made a full dedicated video about buff i also leave a link to that video in the description for those who are interested now let's continue the video so mr lowlander what's the mechanic about the bind teleporters well depending on how and where you enter the teleporter you end up in different positions here's what i mean if you walk straight through the middle you end up a little bit to the right of the middle on the other side if you walk through the left side of the teleporter you end up even more to the right and if you walk through the right side then you will certainly end up in the middle of the teleporter cool information mr lowlander but what can we do with it well now that you know this mechanic you know that there's more chance that the enemies will teleport to the right side of the teleporter this means that if you are standing hookah and you hear the enemies teleport you shouldn't be shooting on the right side but you should be shooting on the left side there's more chance that you hit an enemy this way also when you know an enemy is in the teleporter and you want to rush him with a shotgun don't do a straight moonwalk through the middle this way you only see a small portion of the back instead moonwalk through the left side of the teleporter while looking at the crates this way when you get in you see a little bit more so you have more chance that you see the enemy and the last thing things will get a bit different when you are jumping through the teleporter you can just look at this drawing where you get placed so that was a big explanation so let's do a simple brain dead trick now you see this wall in ascent just use the sage ball to boost yourself over it and you get some easy kills in mid. Fight down A. <laughs> Also, sorry P dot 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 dot. I can't give you a proper shout out because the names on my Discord are glitched out. I have no idea why this is happening. Some names are and some names aren't. If you know what's going on, let me know in the comments down below. Now a cool cypher trick you can do on Pearl. What you gotta do is stand on the left side of this box, aim at the chimney, run, jump and place your cam over there. As you see, it's a pretty strange cam. You can look to a lot of spots but only see small parts of the map. For example, the back side of B, mid link, small part of screens, outside the attacker spawn, top mid, middle and another part of B link. Like I said, the pre Pretty strange can, but because you can see so much, it could be useful during the games. I'm kind of sad that the Cypher to Ascendant series is over now. About Cypher, a trick that's very underrated and I didn't use myself is placing deep trap wires after the barriers are going down. Here on Elong on Haven, for example, there's not a high chance that the enemies will expect this. So combine it with the cage and you can get some sneaky kills. Well played, Bnok. Cat cage trick. Whoa! Wow, respect. And you won this video's battle pass, so congrats. A while ago, I showed the sky trick where if you use your bird and activate it immediately, you won't get flashed, but all the enemies standing around you will get flashed. It's a cool trick, but did you know that KO can actually also do this trick? When you walk forward, aim forward, and do a right click flash throw, then you will flash yourself. Not very smart of you. But if you walk forward, aim up, and then do a right click throw, then you won't flash yourself, but you will flash everybody that's looking at you. This is because your flash will explode behind you. Cool trick, but when is it useful? Well, imagine you're peeking mid on 
behind and you suddenly see five enemies running towards you. You can't peek into five enemies, so you run away to get out of hookah as fast as possible. This is a moment where you can use the trick, the flash will flash behind you, and you might just get enough time to jump out of hookah. Now let's do some deadlock trickies again. Do you find it also annoying to find lineups in custom games? Well, there's a tricky about the C ability. What you gotta do is pick Viper, go into a custom game, and do infinite abilities on. Now, when you're holding your Q ability, you can see on the minimap where it will land. But the cool thing is that the pathing of the C ability of deadlock is the same as the Q ability of Viper. So learn the lineups with the Viper potion, and you know the lineups for the deadlock C ability. Not sure if M dot 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 learned it this way, but he did a cool lineup. Well played, my friend. This next trick you can see in this beautiful post, it's very simple. Basically, the gecko ultimate works perfect with the brimstone ulti. When you catch enemies, say to brimstone, use your ult there, and easy kills for you. Now let's talk about this part, under heaven on haven. When you want to retake a site, often there's an enemy standing over here. But here's a cool trick you can do with race. Stand in the middle of the left flyer over here, it doesn't have to be perfect. Look at the window and you see like a small gap in the stone, right? Aim at the bottom part of the gap and go a little to the right. When you do that, the small running throw with your nade and your nade will land into hell. No more camping there for the enemies. This trick works best if you jump out of it immediately, catch the enemies when they are distracted. Also, for the few breach players out there, if you want an aftershock that catches everyone in hell, go to this corner and aim at this part of the wood over here. It's not that hard to remember it, and this way the enemies will have to run out of it. Now an omen tricky I saw Dr. Freeze making a few videos about, but I never showed it on this channel, so here's how it goes. What you gotta do is smoke something, stand in your own smoke, then jump out of it while you're using your shroud steps back into your own smoke. There's a high chance that this will fake the enemies out, they probably don't think that you teleported back into your smoke but that you teleported somewhere else. The enemy Viper didn't know what was happening. Oh my god, it worked! About Omen, let me quickly show you a cool glitch on Team Deathmatch. If you go to this spot over here, aim up, and aim a little bit to the right of the corner of the building, then sometimes you will see that you could use your shroud steps in the air. And um, okay, look at this, you suddenly are on an invisible wall or something. This will probably get patched, and I'm not sure if you can get banned from this, but you can make some cool clips from the spot like Aerial Space 1. Back to the real tricks. This is also some sort of glitch, but not really. But there's something strange about this wall on Ascent. This is what I mean. With KO, if you line yourself up with this line in the wall, aim at the yellow part of the iron bars and throw your flashbang, it will land in front of the wall. But the strange thing is that even though it lands in front of the wall, the enemies on the other side will get flashed. The flash will almost cover the whole side. So this lineup is an extremely good pop flash and a one-way flash. But then again, I'm also not really sure if this is bug abuse. The rules are a bit fake sometimes. Now a tricky you can do for the style points. And as we all know, getting Kills and style is also a pretty important factor of Valorant. If you want to peek mid on bind with a jet ultimate, of course you can just peek and dash away if the enemy sees you, but this is not fun. Instead, do you see this corner of the teleporter over here? We're gonna use that corner to boost ourselves back. This is how it works. Look to middle, dash to the left, updraft immediately, and shoot while you're going back towards hookah. If you get a kill like this, I think it's a good submission for the trickshot competition we're holding in the load and the discord server. You can submit your tricks for a few more days. Now a simple and tricky, when you're standing behind the hood with deadlock, you can use your ulti again against the arch over there and you might be able to hit an enemy. Just like x Valerian. x Valerian sadly dies, but he got an easy peasy kill in the end. Let's do another one for that look, this time a lineup. When you're pushing B on Ascent, there's often that one annoying stairs player. Here's how to deal with him. Stand against this wall in line with the other wall, aim at the bottom part of the middle bar and throw your C ability. It will land on stairs, the enemies will get slowed, easy peasy push. Now before I end this video, two things. I'm taking a small holiday this weekend to the Ultra Festival, so the next video will come out a little later than usual. And shout out to all these people who submitted their tricks. Sorry that I can't show all the names, someone please help me with my glitchy Discord.